So, in the timeline, in order for us to animate, we need to have a shape, we need to have an object, we need to have a layer. So, for this part, gagawa muna tayo ng text para meron tayong ma-edit. Ma so, for to create the text, you go to your text icon, which is the horizontal type tool. Click on it. So, it turns blue. So, same with Photoshop Illustrator. Click on the work area bar. And then, it becomes the Microsoft Word line thingy. And then, just type, for example, holy pork. Next would be, if you want to change the font, just highlight it. Go to character. And then you can choose different fonts. So I'll be choosing something very thick. Yeah, bold, para lucid. And then here, if you look at this, you have the um, font color here. That's the fill color. The second one is the stroke color if you want it to have a stroke. But if you want it na wala, you just click on this icon, no stroke color. So click on the stroke and then click on no stroke color. So again, um, character, click on your text or the object or, or the image or the object that you have or the text that you have. And then you can edit the settings here. So this is the, the text size. This is the colors. This is the font styles. Okay. Let's say you want to move this point. Nakakainis kasi itong point na to nasa alanganing lugar siya. What if gusto mo siyang igalaw? So here's what you do. You click on the pan behind tool or you press Y on your keyboard and then it shows this icon and then this time you can move the anchor point anywhere. So if I move it in the middle, it will rotate in the middle. If I move it on the side, it will rotate on the side. Alright? So kung saan nakatutok tong anchor point, dyan nagpipivot yung object nyo. Just don't forget to go back to your selection tool which is letter v on your keyboard so that it becomes this white arrow again for the layer options um usually for layers guys you have this called tags you can label the color of your layers if you're very oc so i made it yellow para makita yung bounding box niya na yellow you can also hide the layer by clicking on the i icon you can also lock the layer by clicking on the lock icon. You can also solo the layer by clicking on the solo icon. So, ang difference ng solo with I, yung I, siya lang tinatago mo. Pag solo, siya lang pinapakita mo sa lahat ng layers mo. Okay? So, yun yung difference niya. You have here also your modes, meaning overlays, blending modes, and stuff. And then, if you click on toggle switches, it changes into this. Alright? So, this layer, the shy layer, is very important. So, papakita ko kung bakit. Nakikita niyo yung parang ulo. Mukha siyang ulo, di ba? If I click on it, mukhang nagtago yung ulo. Meaning, the layer is shy. Pag nakatago yung ulo. So, if I click on the layer here, sa taas, or the button here, it hides all the layers na nakashy. For example, I have a lot of layers. Tapos, nahihirapan na ako mag-animate kasi hindi ko makita yung ibang layers. If I turn on the shy layer of other stuff, so for example, isha shy ko yung 9753 at saka yung 1, mukhang nagtago yung ulo, right? If I click on the shy button, it hides all those layers. Pero hindi ibig sabihin na wala yung layers na yun. They are just shy. Or meaning, they're hidden doon sa view natin sa workspace. So if I click on it again, it's there. So just Click on them again para hindi na siya mag um, shy. So again, para para mas madali maintindihan, yung ulo, pagkita siya or nakapik siya, ibig sabihin hindi siya shy, brave siya. Pag nakahide siya, nakashy siya. Tapos pag tinago siya dito, magsha-shy yung lahat ng layers na yun. Okay? So difference niya with hide, if you click on hide, it hides the layer in your workspace but it doesn't hide the layer sa timeline. Okay? So, if you want it to hide in the timeline, you use the, the shy button. Question, sir. Even nakashy yung layer, lalabas pa din ba sa final render yon? Yes, lalabas pa rin siya sa fi final render. Pag nakahide lang siya, hindi lalabas. 